In our first segment, we travel to Northern Vandenberg County with 2014 Bossy graduate Caleb Jordan to the Evansville Regional Airport. In March, the Camille Link featured a segment on the Evansville Regional Airport. Reporter Hope Phillips met with management and discussed the history of the airport and the current expansion project. In this episode, reporter Caleb Jordan returns to the Evansville Regional Airport to meet with the safety department and find out what their responsibilities entail. Joining me today is Chris Fields. Thanks for meeting me today, Chris. Caleb. Okay, so has the airport always had a safety department? So the airport safety department originally began as a law enforcement and fire department. And uh, several years ago, we dropped off the law enforcement and we just picked up the fire department part of it. And that's where we became a safety department. So we are actually more than just fire department. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's where anything with say, public safety. You mentioned that one of the responsibilities of the safety department was fire protection. How does the fire department here differ from the one in my neighborhood? The uh, aircraft rescue fire fighting part of the department differs from uh, apparatus. Our apparatus is capable of going off roads. We carry more agent. We don't have the capability of tapping into a hydrant. There aren't any hydrants located on the airfield. Um, we have the capability to get water from responding vehicles, which is what we would do. But we carry 1,500 gallons of water, 230 gallons of AFFF, which is aqueous film forming foam, which is really good at uh, battling fuel fires. And the other big difference would be the type of equipment since we're dealing mostly with aircraft and aircraft entry, most of our tools are to where we can have the ability of getting into uh, aircraft, different types of metals, cutting different metals, and uh, that's, a, that's the biggest difference. Generally, one person mans each responding vehicle. We have the ability to be able to operate everything from inside the vehicle, and then once mutual aid responds, we can start with different aspects of the rescue or firefighting. So I would assume that most of the safety department is certified first responders, but is there an ambulance on site? There's not an ambulance on site. All the personnel in the safety department are required to be first responders. We do rely on 911 dispatch for medical responses that require anybody needing to be transported off the airport property. I'm Steve Gossman. I'm with the Evansville Regional Airport Safety Department. I work with the ARF Rescue Equipment. This is our Rescue 2 unit. Our Rescue 2 is a striker unit, and we have the basic equipment that all fire department trucks have. We have our deluge guns on the roof and on the turret, but as we come to the side here, we actually have our hand lines. This is a dual agent hand line, and in this hand line, we have the capability of putting water out, and we have the capability of also putting a dry chemical, which we call uh, Purple K. If the agent we're using is not getting to the source of the flame, getting to the base of the fire, we'll switch to a separate agent and be able to put the fire out with that separate agent. The water we put out usually has a foam concentration of 3%, so we can smother the fire with the foam and the water cools it. And the dry K, the purple K, excuse me, is the dry powder, it goes ahead and also uses a smothering agent for the powder. We come back here and this is our pump panel. We can actually run all the trucks pumps from the side here so we can either increase or decrease the volume of pressure going into our lines to make it easier for the firefighter to be able to control the hand line he's using. The more pressure you put on, the harder it is and more difficult, but the further the water will go or the foam will go towards the fire. We have a SPAT tool. This is a specialized tool that's air driven. When we supply an air source to this tool, it will rotate once we pull the trigger, allowing us to penetrate inside of a compartment of a plane, be it the luggage compartment, be it where the passengers are. And once it rotates in, we can then open up the tool and provide a water source as it spins, and it will put water inside the plane, cooling it before we gain entry. So should it take us 90 seconds to a minute to gain entry, with this we can be in there within 15 seconds, providing a water source to cool it while we're gaining entry for the rest of the plane. Joining me now is Dan Tolliver. Thank you for meeting with us today, Dan. Thank you, Caleb. So does the FAA mandate airports to have safety departments? Absolutely. Uh, each airport has different indexes. And the indexes are made up of the lengths of the aircraft. Bigger airports, mm -hmm. 
bigger size aircraft, the indexes are, are much bigger. Here in Evansville, we are a class B with a class C capability, which means the aircraft has to be at, at least 90 feet in length and no more than 126 in length and has to have departures of at least five. And by incorporating all that in, it determines uh, what our uh, what trucks we have, our manning, and so forth. So as a member of the airport safety department, I understand you have a multitude of responsibilities. Could you elaborate on what some of those are? Absolutely. Every morning when we come in, we have several different positions that we have to fill. We have a guy that's in the terminal. Mm -hmm. We have several guys that are in the firehouse. We have a guy that does patrols. And we also have a guy up on our dispatch center. Each job is different. Uh, the guy that does the patrols, his responsibility is to drive the perimeter of the airport, uh, airport property, looking for uh, any breaches in, uh, in our fence line, um, making sure that uh, you know, everything is basically copacetic. Uh, we also, one of the responsibilities of the guy on the patrol is he uh, helps out the public in ways of if somebody has a dead battery, he will we'll go out and we'll, uh, we'll jump start a car. Uh, somebody's locked their keys in their car, which happens a lot. Uh, we, we have uh, certain equipment that we can take out there and we can unlock doors. And uh, the guy in the, in, up in the uh, tower, of course, he is our dispatch guy. Uh, the gentleman that is up there is responsible for taking incoming calls. Uh, he's responsible for keeping up a log that we have to do. Anytime we have a truck dispatched to something, we have an emergency, um, it goes on our log. He's responsible for uh, keep it, maintaining that and keeping that up to date. Uh, he is responsible for uh, radio dispatching, uh, using radio terminology. Uh, he's responsible for watching cameras, uh, responsible for uh, watching, if, if we get an alarm, we have several different types of alarms up there. If we get a door alarm, uh, which is a security matter, he, he will respond a, a, or dispatch an officer to go check that out. If we get a gate alarm, he uh, also dispatches. He is also uh, the individual that receives, we'll we get a call from the tower if we have an emergency. If we have an airplane coming in, it has a, a problem. Tower will call to our office. We'll take all the information we can get. We'll, we'll find out what type of plane it is. We want to know how many people are on board the plane, uh, the amount of fuel it's on board. Uh, as soon as he gets that information, there's a little red button and he'll hit that button. Tones will go off, doors, the, all these uh, doors will rise and everybody inside in the building that's here will get to the trucks and uh, head out. But he's got a very important job and one that is, uh, requires a lot of attention and um, you gotta be on your toes and it can get very, very busy. It can be very quiet, but then it can get busy just like that. The individual that is in the terminal also has a variety of responsibilities. He is there to obviously foremost to assist the public. Uh, we have a variety of questions. Uh, where are the airlines? Where are the car rentals? Uh, where do I do if they'll come to us and ask us questions like where's my luggage? And so we're able to assist them. Uh, we also respond, that individual in the terminal also will respond to any alarm within the confines of the building. When I say alarm, I mean there are security doors mm -hmm. that are uh, that are alarmed, and if, if for whatever reason somehow another an alarm will go off, it can either be a, an actual alarm that we hear or the guy up in our uh, dispatch office, it's a silent alarm. Either way, the guy on the dispatch will call the officer on the radio and tell him, hey, we've got an alarm on such and such door. He will then immediately respond to that door, check it out to make sure if maybe somebody left the door open too long. Um, we, might, we actually might be getting uh, tested by uh, the TSA, which they do, on our, just to keep us on our toes. And, um, or somebody might have accidentally opened the door and didn't swipe and all that. And so we, we go to that area, we make sure it's secure, make sure it's safe, we'll call back and uh, we'll clear that out and help that individual out. So the terminal guy is not somebody who's just standing around, he's got a lot of responsibility as well. And then we usually have some guys here in the firehouse, which is called the firehouse time. And uh, after the, like, when we come on duty, the, those guys will come and they'll check out the trucks. And then they just kind of have a relaxed time. It's because in four hours, we're going to switch it around. And you'll go and do a different position, be it the patrol, the terminal, 
or the or the dispatch office. So it sounds like every day is a different experience, and there are a lot of challenges that allow you to keep enjoying your job. Absolutely, it is a fantastic job. Uh, every day is different. Uh, some of the biggest pros we have, uh, I have, as far as this job is concerned, is being able to work with the public uh, and uh, helping them out in any way possible. Uh, it, it, it's, it's fun. You get to meet really some interesting people as they're traveling through. Each emergency is different, and you're always learning from one emergency to the next. And so that, uh, and it's a, kind of a thrill, you know, the bells go off, you're in the truck, you've got all your equipment on. That's a pro, it's a lot of fun. It's exciting. It's a very rewarding job, and hands down, best job in the city. Reporting from the Evansville Regional Airport Safety Department, I'm Caleb Jordan.